Hello Sagittarius, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look at general energies for the week of April 25th. I hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind, this is a general reading, so take the messages that resonate with you and drop the rest. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing as I do daily, weekly and monthly content. Right, Sagittarius, are you ready? What is coming in for you this week? Chariots, Empress, Three of Pentacles, I like it, Hierophants, and the Hermits. Wow, four major cards here. And Five of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to take the Swords as well. Okay, so, Five of Pentacles talks about poverty, but next to the King of Swords, which is thinking, mind, it's a poverty thinking issue. So somehow, especially with, I can see the white clouds, it's kind of, something needs to be cleared in your thought pattern. It feels like that uh, the poverty thinking or feeling that you are a uh, kind of victim, that you are less, um, less worthy or you have less than others. Um, this is kind of slowing you down. Okay. And King of Swords has this energy that he's going to tell as it is. You don't mess with him. And he doesn't play um, nicey-nicey. He's going to tell exactly how it is. And maybe this is kind of thing that is being put in your mind a long time ago. And this is not probably not true. And more likely it's not true. The, you're worthy. You're worth. Um, no one else can tell that. Okay, You only know your worth. You only can say that and you can't allow anyone else to kind of tell what you are and who you are and what is your worth and what you're worthy of wow okay let's see what's happening here so we have the chariot the empress three pentacles hierophant and the hermit so the chariot we have here um cancer energy so it's definitely mind this is kind of mind over matter Yes, definitely. Mind over matter and gratitude. Coming in the gratitude here. Whatever you feel that you are lacking, there is a lack as well of negativity. So kind of look at from the bigger picture and focus on the good and keep charging ahead with the good in your head. Because we have Empress right here. So Empress is absolute abundance. She's the mother. She's the mother in the Torah. And you can see the river of life from the high, no, high priestess is coming down to the crops and nurturing them. It's very comfortable, luxury, a very abundant card. And it feels that, yes, okay. So Empress as well is very, um, a very helping person or helping energy. And sometimes this card talks about that maybe you are over helping with your time and money and energy. And someone is taking advantage of it. And hence we have this kind of feeling of um, not be enough or so. But as Empress, there's no limitation. There's always abundance. There's an unlimited abundance regarding Empress. So it is kind of contradicting kind of um, energy. It is something in your mind. And once you deal with this issue here... You become unstoppable. You deal with this issue. You march ahead with the chariot here. And Empress. And you suddenly feel like overflowing. Overfilled with. With this feeling of abundance. Because universe only knows abundance. And it's kind of like. It's filling your whole body and mind and spirit. With all the good energies. All the good feelings. Right. So we have a three of pentacles here. So it's kind of like roles are changing. Okay. So you're not that little something, little Sagittarius anymore. And you are marching ahead. It could be maybe your, this card tells me about, you know, looking for a new job and selling yourself, you know, showing what you, what you're worth, what you can do as well. Looking for pay rise as well. It could be some presentation or uh, showing people um, your skills, becoming the master or teacher even. And that is something like a big jump from this energy here. Once you overcome that, 
it just kind of likes moving on. And we have a Taurus here, Hierophant. It's interesting because Hierophant talks about be silent and listen. It asks for sometimes you might get some cl clear audience messages. Actually, a lot of signs got this week. And it could be some messages either through a song or someone might say something. You will know in your gut feeling that this message was for me when you will hear it. It's it's interesting because we have these keys here and you got the keys to the castle. You got the key to unlock your unlock the abundance um, a door. You got that key within you and hermit. So Virgo here. So but more likely hermit is more like to you. Look within. It's like a little bit still soul searching. We had this last week, okay, guys. But it still seems that this maybe lesson hasn't been learned yet. So look within. Don't rush into things. Take your time. Take your time. And look within because you got the all answers. You got the all keys within you for the all answers that you have questions to. Wow. All right, Sagittarius. Let's have a look. What are... The clarifiers for you if this is your sun sign have you checked your moon and rising and if this resonates with you thumbs up of course thank you very much Sagittarius ah oh, lovely <laughs> reach for the star don't settle for second best don't allow your insecurities don't allow your uh, sometimes niggly voice that's not you something's just a little niggly voice is telling you some nasty little things. Um, drop down. Raise above. Yes, raise above, definitely. And be protective as well. What kind of energies surround you? This is definitely feels what kind of people surround you is this are they charging you or draining you, right? And here is yours. Here's your abundance coming in. Allow you might be blocking the abundance with your thinking. And that's what kind of unlocks it. Once you unlock that and change that habit of negative thinking about yourself, about money even, you get your goodies coming in your life. Brilliant. Work on yourself. Still the work, you know, the working hard on yourself, but being gentle as well. It's kind of being your best friend. Your inner dialogue is super important. More fruits. It's like double, double um, harvest here. On the bottom we have a um, little musical instrument. When I see that, it's just a reminder of how important to have our energies clean and clear and try to have those vibrations high. Wow, Sagittarius, let's have a look. Okay, what do you desire right now? Visualize it. And it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. So negativity, negative thinking about things will definitely block you from accessing the abundance. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> victory. I know Sagittarius. You're going to overcome this. Because victory is, is promised. And keep up the good work. You are working hard. And working hard some, on yourself. But not be harsh on yourself. Um, keep stay positive. Have those good thoughts about yourself. Um, give yourself a pat on your back. And everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Look. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you in the next reading. Bye-bye.